bonjour, we're live. I am so excited about this. Ooh, yeah, you can do filters. How much fun is that? Okay, you guys, welcome to my second live YouTube video ever. I cannot believe that I get to do this with you guys. I have been running around like a chicken with my head cut off trying to get ready for today's live session, which is how to dress like a French girl on a budget. And I'm so grateful that you guys are here and <laughs> that you're going to learn how to create a French girl style on a budget. So I love French style. I love um, how French women dress. I love their attitude towards fashion and life. And you know, one of the things that I appreciate most about them is that they're casual yet chic and they look really effortlessly cool pretty much all the time. So when I went to Paris last year, I was super surprised at the different kinds of style that I saw Parisian women wearing. And I feel like it runs the gambit. But what I love to do is to focus on the kind of French style that we here in the States and in the West kind of like idolize. But if you're anything like me, you want to dress unique, you want to be comfortable, and you really don't want to spend a boatload on what you're wearing. And I've got some tips for you. I've got a whole rack of French girl inspired clothes that we're going to be taking a look at. And I'm going to be giving you some tips on where to shop for these beautiful pieces on a budget. And hopefully if you've got any questions while we're going live, you can let me know. So I am super excited. If you're watching live, go ahead and pop in the chat where you're watching from. And let's go ahead and dive right in. I'm so glad that we get to do this live. So as we go, you'll probably have more people showing up and whatnot. And let me just say first off, thank you if you do show up. And if you're watching the replay to this, you can leave me a comment in the comment section below letting me know what you think about this and what pieces of French girl fashion you're most excited about. Um, also, I don't want to forget to let you guys know I have a freebie for you. Um, it is 29 classic pieces that every woman can wear and every woman should own and you can get that at briannalamberson.com forward slash classic. Okay, so I got really dressed up for you guys today and I am actually wearing one of the pieces that I recommend. Let me see if I can, um, okay. I don't know how to do these fun, fancy YouTube things. What does that do? Oh, that's quite nice. Pop. Okay, so um, I'm wearing a lace dress that I thrifted, and I would say this is very Rouge inspired. It's cotton, it's even a French brand, I think. And um, one of the things I quite love about it, let me see if I can flip my screen around for you, is that it is like very, very, very perfect in the length. And I need to have it taken in, but I'm doing a little styling trick and I've just got a belt cinched around my waist. And to make my problem areas kind of hidden, I have the puff sleeve here, which covers up that kind of more, you know, I would say problem area for me, because we all have our hang up. And then to make my legs look a little longer, I've got on some cute heels. These are from And Other Stories, and they're a few seasons old. I get a ton of compliments on them, and um, you can probably do a Google search for, like, suede, uh, puffy, strappy sandal or something like that. And um, so this dress is, was a great find at the thrift store. This is probably like five or six dollars if I can recall. And normally a dress like this, if you were getting it on Rouge, would probably be something like that. So let me flip back around so you guys don't see my horribly messy office. <laughs> the other side of this camera is all messy. Okay, so that's gonna keep doing that. How much fun. Um, all right. Now, you guys, let me know if you've got any comments. Live chat. Live chat. Oh, oops, did some, are we still going? Sorry about that. Live chat. 
Okay, sorry that this is a little disjointed. It's like my second ever live video. Um, I'm used to doing stuff on Instagram where it's like a little bit more friendly, if you know what I mean. Oh Lord, forgive me. Okay. So now let's go over the pieces. Hopefully you guys can see all right. Um, I've got obviously some espadrilles. These were thrifted and you can get some with the strappy bit or you can get the ones that lace up. These were about, oh, they actually still have the price. They were $7. And normally, if you were going to buy a pair of espadrilles, they'd be anywhere from $40 to $140. And I got these for $7. So you can find exactly what you're looking for at the thrift store. And then I'm also going to be giving you guys some brands online to shop for and even French brands that are more affordable and hopefully that will help you get started building French girl style on a budget. So um, let's start with, I know we did shoes a little bit, I did my dress a little bit and I'm like completely winging this. <laughs> so give me a like if you are supporting the channel and me winging this. Um, I would say that any French girl wardrobe on a budget probably needs to have some scarves. So for spring and summer, I would highly recommend some super sheer lightweight scarves. I've got this very sheer linen scarf. It's kind of like a grayish blue. This was thrifted and I mean, it's pure linen made in Italy. So you could definitely do a lot of styling with that. And then I've got this from a consignment shop. This is an older cotton blend J. Crew kind of gingham scarf. And I love um, wearing my scarves a couple different ways. One of the best ways I think to wear a scarf, actually let me do this, if you're going to be doing it in summertime, is to literally just let it hang around your neck and then you can throw a blazer over the top of it. So if I wanted to do like an oversized blazer, you could do something like that. And let me flip around and show you guys. So kind of like you've got your long, layer here and then your oversized blazer it's pretty cute so you could definitely do something like that for spring and um well i know it's moving into summer but if you've got cooler weather where you live you could layer up like that and you want to make sure that your blazer is like a linen or even unlined linen blazer because you'll get really hot really fast if you're wearing wool or something like that okay so the next section I'm going to talk about is tops and I think tops are one of the most versatile parts of a wardrobe. So you can't go wrong with having your silk camisoles. I love camisoles. I have tons of these. They just really make any kind of like jeans, camisole, blazer, jean jacket or whatever cute shoes and you're done. And it's so easy to style. It's like completely my number one favorite go-to outfit, to be honest with you. So you need some silk camisoles. I got these, both were given to me by a friend of mine. And I know she got them at a consignment store, so they were just probably a couple bucks. Um, and then tops. Where would you be without like your <laughs> vintage t-shirt? with an amazing kind of strange design on it. I actually, this is my mom's t-shirt that we got when we were traveling in Europe when I was a little girl, so this is sentimental. And then you've got your Marnier top. This is from Uniqlo. It's 100% cotton and 
they're actually a great place to shop just regular price but I did get this at the thrift store so definitely check out Uniqlo and when you're at the thrift store or you're looking on Poshmark anything like that you can scope out these pieces like by brand it's the best tip that I can probably give you is to look for stuff by brand when you're looking online like especially when you're looking on Poshmark or ThreadUp or uh, any of the resale online shops these brands you look for them and they're so affordable so that's a great tip right there okay then we move on to our blouses i love i love 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 blouses like i said for me like my number one go-to outfit is classic jeans either a camisole and some sort of outerwear like a blazer or a blue jean jacket and maybe some espadrilles high heels or flats um, but if you want to just keep it really simple you can just wear jeans and a beautiful blouse or a skirt and a beautiful blouse so I love this linen J. Crew from the thrift store. It's 100% linen. It's just short sleeve blouse. You can even wear a camisole underneath. You can tie it or you can button it all the way up to the neck and tuck it in. I love this. This is like one of my comfort pieces. If I'm feeling like I need to look polished and I don't want to put too much effort into it, I will definitely wear one of these guys. And you really need for your French girl classic wardrobe, you absolutely need a romantic blouse. And I, what I mean by that is a blouse that kind of has some laciness, some sheerness to it. It's very Victorian inspired. And this was from H&M a few years ago. And what I love to do every single year is just scope out what brands online are doing with the romantic blouse because it's always kind of in the mix somewhere. If you go to Zara, H&M, Target, wherever, you're going to find that they're doing a lacy version of a blouse. And I love to shop for those because it's very hard to find those secondhand. Um, of course, you can shop at H&M and Zara and other places like that. But if you want to go the more sustainable route, I would you're going to have to pay a little bit more. So you can look at places like Amor Ver. You can look at, um, gosh, I'm blanking on the name for a second, but um, La Rudette is a great French brand that actually ships to the U.S. and they'll have a lot of beautiful lacy blouses like that too. Romantic blouses. Um, then I actually got this in Paris. <laughs> So I love this blouse. It's very rouge inspired. I think it was a rip off of one of their designs. But it's just this like flouncy. Let me put these up. It's just kind of like this wrap blouse. It's very flouncy sleeved. It has a tie waist. So you like tie it over. And it's so sexy. Just comes across your bust. And it would be great for spring and summer because you can, again, just wear this with jeans or a cute denim skirt. And, oh, hey, Beverly. Yay, I'm so glad you're here. Um, I love this. I actually bought it in Paris from And Other Stories because they don't have that in my state. I think they only have one in New York and L.A. But, um, and obviously you can order online, but I thought, why not get it in Paris? And I actually wore this a lot <laughs> while I was there. Um, I love this style of blouse. If you want something that accentuates your waist, highly recommend this. It's very comfortable without feeling like you are showing off your body too much, or if you just want to look a little bit more sexy without revealing a ton, this is a great option for you is having a wrap blouse if you want to accentuate your waist if you're like a pear sh a pear shape or an apple shape this is great not the hourglass can wear this um, so for any of the body shapes that want to accentuate more of their waist get a wrap blouse with a tie or wear a belt around your waist like I do because I love doing that um, okay how are you guys doing give me a thumbs up if you're enjoying this the next couple things I highly recommend as like staple pieces that you have to have in your wardrobe, uh, if, especially if you're going to go French style, 
So you need a couple of silk blouses. So I've got my black and my white. Um, these are just classic. You can't go wrong. They make you look so chic and put together without having to try at all. Like imagine having one of these beautiful silk blouses and like your favorite pair of jeans and a really cute pair of shoes plus some gold jewelry. You don't need to do anything else. Like you're done. Like you're absolutely done. <laughs> this is one of my favorite pieces. It's just come out of the wash, but it's from Anna and Frank. It's 100% silk and I got this at the thrift store. So it was just a few dollars. It's got the um, double breast pockets there. Uh, really beautiful, easy to care for silk. You can hand wash, you can machine wash it on delicate and um, you know, just take good care. Miranda says, I'm a pear shape and that is my favorite style of blouse to wear, the wrap one. That's so good, I love that. Um, <laughs> so the next one that I just wanna mention is Everlane. I do love Everlane, but wow, that's like getting some mega glare. See if I can make that better. Okay, I love Everlane, I love them, but sometimes you just need to stick with the basics from Everlane. And this is their notched silk blouse. True black and white always works. Amen, sister. I do love it. This is machine washable. This is hand washable. People are afraid to wear silk, but it is so good for you. It's very breathable. It's so lightweight and it lasts a long time if you care for it well. And it's one of those fabrics that doesn't make you sweat like polyester would. And yet when you wear it, you just instantly look elevated. So a good classic black and white would be great. You can even pair this with a denim skirt. Let me see if I can fix how that is doing. Because the sun is so bright here in Tennessee. It's a little bit better. So let me show you. Okay love doing this for you guys so a little denim skirt a little black blouse Kavina three! go girl I'm so glad you're here <laughs> so you can pair it with jeans you can pair it with a denim skirt silk blouse boom you're done it's so easy and Everlane is very affordable as well you just want to stick to the classic pieces like their basic t-shirts, their basic silk items, and you know, they have some really good tailored blazers. But typically speaking, I'm all about thrifting because you can find, and when I say thrifting, I really should say second hand as well as thrift stores. So you can do online consignment, you can do um, all the way up to very high end, like the real, real. Um, is really high-end stuff so you can search for those better brands that you might want to score without having to pay full price like I'm really eyeballing some Castaner espadrilles on the real real and eBay it's a great option and then also redone denim which is over $200 for a pair of jeans but they're beautiful redone Levi's you don't have to pay retail you can just go online and go to resale shops so Poshmark is a great one as well, and Depop, I love them. Plus, since Kavina's here, you need to check out the Through Collect. Go check them out on Instagram, their little resale Instagram shop. Love their stuff. Um, okay. So, I know it's summertime, but I really wanted to show you some really beautiful French girl inspired sweaters. This is like a 1940s, like the 1970s doing 1940s little terry cloth sweater. I'm obsessed with this. A friend gave this to me years ago. Right now, um, you got it, girl. I love supporting other women. I absolutely live for that. So right now, I would say that with Rouge and other French brands, what made you go into fashion? Oh, I love that. Um, Arby, I don't know you, but welcome to the channel. That's a long story for another time, but my background just very briefly was in consignment. So I studied art photography at the School of the Art Institute in Chicago, and I took a shoemaking class. I always loved fashion, even from a really young age. I was 
absolutely keen to always play dress up. And when I moved to Tennessee, I got a job working at a consignment shop. So this is another fancy little sweater that I would say is very French girl right now, French girl chic. And this is 100% wool. I love this. It is from Switzerland. So it's kind of the French girls have borrowed this style from the 70s and 80s and they're really rocking it. So I know that you probably can't wear this for much longer, but this is a great thing to look out for at the thrift store. Um, and I just love anything that is 40s inspired right now. Uh, so really great tip is to look at film and movies from that period to get inspiration for your style. So anything like Jane Birkin, Bridget Bardot, um, Francois Hardy, any of the classic French movies is absolutely what you want to check out. So um, let me know in the comments section what your favorite French movie is, if you've seen any. Okay. The next thing I want to talk about is blazers. I am a blazer addict. You have to have a good blazer to be a proper French girl. Um, this is from Escada. This is a black plaid blazer. It's double breasted. This was actually given to me by my landlord. Someone left it in their old house. So what a score, right? I love this. And then I found this beautiful DKNY blazer, 100% wool at the thrift store. And it was probably, yes, 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 love them, she says, um, Beverly says. So definitely every time I go to the thrift store, I'm looking for blazers. I'm always looking for classic blazer, blazers like plaid, navy, houndstooth, um, dark wool, and anything brand name. You always want to be looking for quality materials as well, like silk and cotton and linen and wool, and sometimes even leather. So that's a really good tip as well. And the next three classic blazers that you need would be um, definitely stay away from polyester for sure. I don't I don't love blends, but sometimes it's okay. But even a polyester lining you're gonna find in most blazers. So this is a gray plaid blazer. It's oversized. I love this one. I wear it with a white t-shirt my favorite broken in vintage jeans and some espadrilles or ballet flats and you're good to go. I also am obsessed with this navy blazer. Hi, hi Emily, what's going on? Thanks for the shout out. Thank you for the support. Um, I love this one from Banana Republic, made in Italy. It's a little bit vintagey. It's 100% wool and it is like, one, two, three, four button blazer, but I love that kind of 90s vibe with this. And then finally, you have to have your black blazer, right? Your classic black blazer. It's just single button, very simple to wear, cotton, and you can wear it with anything and everything. It's literally like a safety blanket almost. You pop it on and you're like, oh, I feel you know, a little bit covered up and I, a little bit chic. So you can pair this with your camisoles or any of your romantic blouses would be super beautiful. And then denim skirt or high-waisted maxi skirt or something like that would be really cute. Okay, we're coming close to the end. I've got several options of denim skirts for you guys to look at. Um, here's a denim cutoff mini skirt from H&M from last year or two years ago. I really love this. It is super short though, so I'm not like a huge fan of that. But it's it's a nice cut. And you can again exchange, you could like swap out anything that you wear jeans with, you can swap out for a denim skirt. And then this J. Crew button up the front, very 1970s. I love this look. It's super chic very easy to wear just throw it on with a t-shirt and you're good to go and then this was one of my favorite finds of all time um this is from cooperative which is a barney's 
um, brand Barney's label. This is a super mini skirt, very 1960s with the stitching and then like the O-ring zipper and these cute little hidden side pockets. I think it's adorable. Um, again, H&M, J. Crew, consignment, and then this was thrifted. I love this. It's a long, hits your knee from the 1970s. This is legitimate, authentic 1970s denim skirt. These awesome little tiny zipper pockets. So you just can find anything that you're looking for, better quality at consignment or at thrift stores or secondhand stores. Thanks, Kavina. And lastly, we're gonna talk about, really quick, we're gonna talk about uh, skirts, like fancier skirts, denim, and then a couple little accessories. And then I'll let you guys go. But don't forget to go to briannalamberson.com forward slash classic to get your free guide. So you can check that out. Hopefully it will help you plan. <sighs> Yay, how are you guys doing? Good, I hope. Okay, so I love having floral skirts. Again, something very sexy and romantic for spring. You want to go with a beautiful pop of color and a nice little pattern. You can do like an old kind of 1940s, 1930s pattern, or you can do floral. I love these pleats. This is 100% silk thrifted um, several years ago. And then this one will blow your mind. I love this one. It's actually Christian Dior, and I got it at the thrift store, of course. That's kind of the theme here, right? It's secondhand. So Christian Dior, and it is this beautiful full-length maxi skirt that's pleated, and it sits very high on the waist and kind of hugs the waist, and then it comes down to your lower calf. So that's what I would call a T length. Silk is great for summer evenings, Beverly Hill says. I love that. Yes, I totally agree. Um, now we talk about denim. I love denim. I love denim. Emily says, what a great find. I bet the Christian Dior, totally. Uh, okay, so... I kind of am a denim addict, not gonna lie to you, and I've got way too many pairs of denim, but I broke down into a few categories the real, true, I think these are what you need for sure, denim pieces. So the first pair of jeans I really think you need is a dark wash black, kind of pencil straight leg denim. Um, try to show you here. These are just straight leg all the way down. So, they're not really pencil, they're not flared. These are high-waisted, but they're not like excessively high-waisted. These are from H&M several years ago, and they're kind of a charcoal wash, not a true black, but you can definitely go true black. And if you wanted to not do the pencil um, for different body shapes, I really recommend a denim that has a little bit more stretch in it and a higher waist and then like a much longer, thinner leg. So you just gotta try jeans on. Finding the perfect pair of jeans is really hard and you just have to try them on and just go to town and find the best ones that fit you. So where would we be without our pencil? Our like little T length, calf, you know, calf length, or ankle length, I should say. Cute little button up. These are Button Fly from And Other Stories. I love these. I got these online before my trip to Paris. They're very, very, very tight, and they do have a bit of stretch in them, and that's what I think makes them like um, so cute, is that it's just the slightest amount of stretch, so probably 1%, no more than that, is what I really recommend. But um, if you are petite, I love these style of jeans because they come and hit at your ankle and they're not super long and they're a little bit tapered at the ankle. And if you wanna, you know, with French girl style, typically denim is one of the pricier pieces that you'll be investing in. Uh, but 
I got these for $69 and normally you would pay for a really good pair of jeans well over $100 so you can save there but I'm not done let me show you a couple of other key finds I found the best, best, best jeans ever. These are Levi's uh, 501s. These are classic vintage Levi's 501s. They have the double X, which is meaning that these are like a true nice little 501 brand. And they've got all of the distressing. They're button fly. These are more of like a boyfriend style. Um, and I love how distressed they are. So they're quite baggy. But you cannot go wrong with the thrift store because if you were trying to buy a real authentic pair of Levi's 501s, you would be spending, you know, gosh, 80, 90, 100 dollars. And seriously, these are really nice to wear around the house. These are nice to pair with like your oversized um, boat neck. Uh, Marigné. So I love doing this together. Like when I'm around the house, just bumming around. It's so cute. And then the last pair of jeans I want to show you is my favorite pair of jeans of all time. They're one of the best finds I've ever found in my life. These are J. Crew outfitters. Look at how old, I, you know, I'm sorry. It's not that old, but you know, these are very vintage. So they're over 20 years old. I'm guessing these are from the early to mid 80s because J. Crew outfitters is, that's no longer. It's just J. Crew. And these are very high waisted, distressed. Um, I can't wear jeans from Charity Shop even if I boil them. Oh, really? Why not? Are you afraid of germs or something like that? Um, so I love these because they're super high-waisted. They've got true authentic distressing here. Th these are like literally my favorite jeans of all time absolutely obsessed with these. They're very hard to get into because the way that women used to wear their jeans is a lot different than the way that they wear them now. But talk about quality. I mean, these have lasted for 35 years or more. So you're never going to get rid of these. And when you find them, you know. Next up is accessories. I highly recommend finding a pendant necklace of some kind. I love this one. It's St. Christopher. Um, actually, no, I'm sorry. It's St. Joseph, the patron saint of children and orphans. I found this on the ground in Chicago, and it is made in Italy. I love it so much. It's one of my most beloved pieces ever, and I mix it with gold jewelry, too. I don't just do silver with silver or gold with gold. This is my mother's snake chain from the 70s, gold, and I wear it with her other necklace that she gave me, which is this beautiful little dainty gold choker, and then my wedding rings go with it really well. But how lovely is that? So very French girl, very simple, very meaningful. Devorah says, I worked in a charity shop for years, and we'd always get secondhand Levi's. They're a great place to find more expensive pieces. I love that, Devorah, yes. And long gold, ooh, yeah. So right now I'm actually wearing, this is all Ana Luisa, which I've done several collaborations with them. And I like how you can just layer it up or wear one or wear it with more sentimental pieces of jewelry is another great option too. Having less is really, more in my opinion. I used to be really into big bold jewelry that was like making a statement but over time I realized that it's much harder to style and it's kind of a pain in the butt to wear and it doesn't like it doesn't suit my lifestyle of just trying to be more active and on the go plus I love the idea of wearing something that's way more sentimental. 
<laughs> Kavina says, Bree's spiritual gift is finding gems on the streets for free. Amen to that, sister. I fully believe that. I love your shirt, very French. Oh, thank you. It's actually a, a dress. It's really cute. I um, You'll have to watch the replay of this, um, Marzia, because I show the whole thing. And thank you for bearing with the technical strangeness here. I'm shooting this on my iPhone, but how cute is that little necklace combo? I've often worn these three together. So I think the more meaningful the jewelry is, the better. You just can't go wrong. Um, okay, final, <laughs> final thing, sunglasses. You have to have a classic pair of black shades. I got these from H&M a few weeks ago. I love this kind of 1960s style. It's not a full cat eye, but it has this blunt edge here. And this is definitely copied after a very 60s style, but you can easily find really beautiful sunglasses at the thrift store or at consignment shops. So now that we've come to the end of all of the pieces, let me show you I want to show you around. Okay, I'm gonna take you off the tripod and there's the dress that you can see. It's, you know, I think a very nice length. It's not too long. And here are all the clothes that we just went over. I love how all these things look together. Um, I also forgot to mention black leather belt, thrifted with a gold, gold buckle. And then this beautiful straw bag. This is a great thing for summer, I'd say. Very, very, very Parisian. And here are the accessories, gold jewelry, rings, and a beret, but that's not for this season. And you can probably wear this in the States more than you could overseas. Um, so I think just having something simple is the very best option. Let me flip back around. Okay, you guys. Let me know what you are most wanting to do with your style right now. I am opening up my Patreon. I don't know if you guys have heard about that. Um, Patreon, Patreon is open. I'm looking for founding members to join who want to do one-on-one -on -one sessions like this and who want help really transforming their personal style and would like help shopping and putting together outfits and getting wardrobe inspiration. So, uh, <laughs> Let me just say thank you so much for being here. I'm like giddy and all over the place. But you can go to patreon.com forward slash Brie Lamberson to join. Oh, thank you, Beverly. I'm really grateful. It's a, it's a 1920s house that we rent, my husband and I. Um, it's definitely got its uh, drawbacks, if you know what I mean. Um, lots of drafty spaces. But... Yeah, so if you guys are interested in joining Patreon right now, it is $10 a month to join. That's a founding member price. So if you join, you'll be at $10 a month for the rest of your life and you'll get one-on-one -on -one access to me. You will have my direct support creating your wardrobe. Um, you'll have help shopping and learning how to clean and edit, organize your wardrobe and figure out your personal style. So when I am... I'm looking at closing up Patreon for that $10 founding member a month level, probably let's say June 15th. That gives us some time. So June 15th is the very end of when you can join at the founding member level price. And right now I'm only accepting 50 people in as founding members and I have 43 spots left. So you can get on in there, join, try it out for a month, see how it fits for you, be a part of creating something that is, you know, brand new. I get to co-create with you guys a, really a program that, you know, you want and that you need. Um, so if you love French girl style and you want to try to create French girl style on a budget for yourself, then you should definitely check this out. So Devorah says... 
Oops. Devor says, thank you for streaming. Always love your vids and will consider Patreon. So glad caught you live. Lum from Ireland. Oh, I love it. Thank you so much, Devora. Have a great night probably in Europe. And um, you guys don't forget to grab that free guide. Um, it's 29 classics that every woman should own. And you can find that at briannalamberson.com forward slash classic. Okay, thanks so much for watching you all. I'll see you very soon. Have a great rest of your night.